In our school, we've got about 530 kids that have disabilities. Uh, many of them not in wheelchairs, they're very subtle disabilities. A lot of the kids are in general ed classes. But many kids have impairments or obstacles to things that people don't know about. So the group of kids that are with us now in Miami, uh, they're, they're great kids, but they're kids that have special needs. And many of them uh, never really had a chance to go on a trip like, like this before, ever. So Gail Benson, Gail is our occupational therapist at Tottenville High School. Gail works with kids on motor skills and life skills, and she kind of came up with the brainstorm, her and her students, on taking kids on a long-term long trip, kind of like uh, a senior trip. And they read about Shake a Leg in a magazine, and they started to do research to find out what Shake a Leg was all about. And when they found out what it was all about, they were so excited. Um, they came to me, Gail came to me and said, what do you think? And I said, I don't know, let's talk to John Tuminaro, he's our principal. And John Tuminaro is an advocate for special needs kids, so he loved the idea. He just said, how are we gonna pay for it? Our budget doesn't have, we don't have this kind of budget. The trip was uh, at least $26,000, $27,000. So he said, I'll tell you what, we'll put some feelers out and see if we can get some of the local politicians, assemblymen, uh, people in the community to donate some money, but the kids are gonna have to be actively involved in fundraising. So, Gail decided we're gonna put together some fundraising activities, and we've been doing it for months, since almost the beginning of the school year. We've, the miracle came and happened. We raised a decent amount of money. We're still short, but when we spoke to Shake a Leg and we told them, you know, we're just having a little bit of money. We know we owe you money. And they came through big time. They held a fundraiser here for us and helped us raise additional money. So what this trip did and means to these kids, you have to talk to them to hear it directly, but it means an opportunity to be independent. Although this is my fifth time to Florida, um, we have been boating and we've been doing kayaking and a lot of fun stuff on the water. And we had to fundraise a lot, a lot of money to be here. And I'm very grateful for that experience that I'm having here. And it's a beautiful facility. <laughs> and I'm lucky that they are able to make things accessible for me to be going in the water with the boats and to be with my friends. I think Shake Lake is a great place because it, it opens so many doors to what we can do and I think that they accommodate very well and that they thought of everything about you know how hard it is to get handicapped people they made it so simple, and they made it a trip of a lifetime, a sure, trip of a lifetime for us. And, you know, it's hard because, like, when you go on vacation, you don't, there's not many things we can do because, you know, it's not accessible, the stairs, is this, is that, and, you know, we always seem to get left behind because of the, you know, obstacles that we have to go over. And here, they, there is no obstacles. We can just go on, just roll right on the boats, we can just go right on to the kayak. We can just, you know, do whatever we want to do on the water. Shake a leg is awesome. I love being on the boat and being in the water. But uh, dolphins are my favorite animal since I was little. So that was a wonderful experience. Um, I actually probably got majorly sunburned from being on the boat in Shake a Leg, but I wouldn't have it any other way. This experience is a dream come true for me. We did a lot to to make it this far, and you know what? We're finally here. I, I, I originally said, you know what? The minute I heard about it, I said, I'm gonna go. Shake a leg, you know, it's a very good program. I encourage anybody who, like, has, like, you know, whoever wants to, you know, see what it's all about, come on down. I mean, it's fun, and so far, I like it. Megan Zingales, uh, cerebral palsy. It was just amazing just to see her being down into the ocean and 
and like just floating and just being free and um, just seeing her without the wheelchair attached to her. Um, you know, Vanessa, just being with her friends. I, I think that's, it's mostly about just kept trying, quote unquote, being a normal teenage kid with their friends. This is amazing. This is something that these kids thought about. These kids said, I want to do this. I want to do this. Never heard of it. They fundraise, they beg for money, you know, any way possible. And they had so many people that were pushing them down, pushing them down, pushing them down, and they never gave up. But that's their life. They never give up. You know, they're used to overcoming obstacles. One of my seniors about a year ago approached me as to what we were doing for her senior trip since our senior trip has to do with um, skiing and horseback riding. And my senior is a girl who is in a wheelchair with cerebral palsy, and the senior trip is really not accessible to her because of that condition. So I really hadn't thought too much about a senior trip at that point. And, um, you know, I kind of just said, well, you know, we'll, we'll talk. And about a few weeks later, I saw an article in People Magazine about the Shake a Leg facility, and it just kind of started getting my wheels going. I recruited quite a few positive people, and um, we decided we're going to try to go for it. And we started actively fundraising, and I got as much information from fundraising through uh, my daughter's PTA, and we started planning and plotting and trying to write letters to any kind of politician and any kind of major corporation, and we tried to see what kind of money we can get coming in. We started having fundraisers at restaurants, and we decided we were going full force. We recruited people, and it just, one thing led into another, and it happened, and here we are. <laughs> That's it in a nutshell. The best teacher is Miss Betsy. So, Ms. Gail Benson, and this, this is Miss okay, Kathy Driscoll, best AP so, in the world. So Joe Pearls in the Brooklyn Dream, special ed. There All right. you go. All right, so. Joe Pearls in the Brooklyn Dream, special ed. There you go.